cool, calm and collective. Easy does it by the West Indies. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, it really feels good reporting on West Indies being victorious in an ODI game, especially going up against the number one ranked ODI team, New Zealand. We know the series is not yet done. We know they have not won the series. So we're not getting ahead of ourselves, but we have to give them Kudos Justice Team. We have to say big up to them because it doesn't matter when they lose, we curse them all the while. So when they win a game, you have to shout them out. Yeah, man. So it was a very, very impressive victory, my viewers and subscribers. New Zealand um, lost the toss. So poor and asked them to bat first on that pitch. And we were able to bowl them out for 190. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, New Zealand playing a full strength team. West Indies, you know, we were able to bowl them out for 190 and uh, we were able to chase it down successfully. The bowlers did extremely well. The feelers did their thing. You know, Akil Hussein, Alzari Joseph coming back into the team, getting the job done for us early up. You know, Akil Hussein picking up the first couple of wickets, basically setting things up for us. And at regular intervals, New Zealand lost wickets, so they did not have a chance to bounce back. The only person that was able to try and do a little thing was Kane Williamson, who got into the 30s. But, you know, we really we really did not allow them to do too much, my viewers and subscribers. Um, yeah, he got 34 and Bracewell, I think, got 31. But that was basically it, courtesy of some outstanding bowling. Where the batting is concerned for West Indies now, I must say shout out to Shamar Brooks, who basically... Um, came in when we lost uh we lost lost Kyle Mayers pretty early he came in and you know he was able to carry it see through right to the end so big up to him all right going go through the score before we go uh any further into the whole analysis of the game and all of that we go, we're just going go ahead and give you guys the actual numbers so 190 is what New Zealand got uh they were bowled out within 45.2 overs and as it relates to the bowling for West Indies we had Jason Holler, he bowled eight overs, one uh, maiden, he had two wickets for 39 runs, picked up a couple of wickets at the back end there to basically finish off New Zealand um, in New Zealand's innings. Akil Hussein, 10 over, 28 runs, three wickets. You hear that, my viewers and subscribers? 28 runs, 10 over. So um, Akil Hussein definitely showing that he's improving um, from game to game. You know, when they talk about people improving, I'm not going to say the team on a whole is improving, but you can see one or two of the players definitely making good steps or good strides. And Akil Hussein is one of them. Um, Alzari Joseph, 8.2 overs, 36 runs, 3 wickets. Could have been another 4 wicket haul for Alzari Joseph if they did not um, put down a, a, a chance off his bowling in the slip. But we have come to get used to that by now. We know that one or two catches going to go down off Alzari's bowling. You understand? Um... The two debutants were also, um, ODI debutants were also in the mix. Uh, Kevin Sinclair had 10 over for 37, 10 overs, gave away 37 runs and was able to pick up a wicket. We also had Yannick, um, Yannick Carrier. He had 9 overs, 49 runs and 1 wicket. So he didn't do too bad at all, my viewers and subscribers. So all of these bowlers combined to make sure that, um, we were able to, 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 to bowl out New Zealand. So a wicket, everybody that bowled, you know, they got a slice of the pie or, or, or a taste of the pie. Now, in terms of the batting for New Zealand, Martin Gupti looked dangerous at the top, but he was removed by Akil Hussein for 24. Um, Allen looked dangerous. He was looking as if he was going to hit the ball all day. He was removed again by Akil Hussein for 25. Then um, we had Kane Williams make, making 34. And, um, you know, Bracewell in the middle had 31 before Yannick Carrier got him out. And uh, Satna had 25. So those were the main contributors as it relates to the batting for New Zealand, my viewers and subscribers. Now, when it came on to the batting for West Indies now, we were able to chase that down courtesy of a very good batting performance from Shamar Brooks. He ended up um, being the, getting the man of the match. Now, <laughs> it was pretty interesting, especially seeing how She Hope decided to play. You know, usually you would settle down and bat and try and bat deep. And the score being 190, not too much of a pressure. We were expecting the same thing, but he turned it around uh, this time. And he went ultra aggressive. He had 26 of 24 with four fours and a six. Yes, yeah, she hope. 
four fours and a six before he actually um, played one in the air and was out caught. Kyle Mears had six. Shamar Brooks, as I said, remained not Ah, did I say Shamar Brooks was not out? No, Shamar Brooks actually got dismissed. I think I said that earlier up in the game that he, he carried his back. No, he was dismissed. My viewers and subscribers, 79 of 91. Yeah, man, Nicholas Puran had 28. Jermaine Blackwood and, 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 and Jason Hola. Those were actually the two guys that were at the crease when we got across the line. So, my bad there, my viewers. I probably trying to give Shamar Brooks a little bit more props than he deserved. You know, he, 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 he batted extremely well, but he was eventually dismissed. So, um, Jason Hola getting 13 from 25, not out. And, um, no, uh, yeah, Jason Hola getting 13 from 25, not out. And Jermaine Blackwood getting 12 from uh, 18. So, those are the two guys that basically made sure that we got across the line in the latter part there. Trent Bolt, uh, 10 overs, 49 runs, 2 wickets. Tim Saute, 10 overs, uh, he had he gave away 39 runs for his 2 wicket. Lucky Ferguson, t uh, 8 overs, he was pretty expensive. 8 overs, 55 runs, no wicket. And we have Satna who picked up 1 wicket and Bracewell wasn't able to get a wicket. So, um, shout out to the guys, my viewers and subscribers, the first game of the series out of the way i think that is 10 points if i'm not mistaken second game coming up on friday the idea is to repeat the process um go out there and try and win the game try and um try and see if we can uh we, we can we can get a, a, some more points so this game here we won by five wickets you understand five wickets and probably run about 60 something deliveries to spear so um, shout out to the West Indies as I said we deserve this my viewers and subscribers because when they are losing we are there with them so when they are winning we need to celebrate with them so um, uh, this is this is a nice performance good team performance as I said bowling out uh, the, the number one ODI team in the world for under 200 and um, you know going in and chasing it down without causing much of a panic you know, we lost a couple of wickets, as I said, the two openers, Shamar Brooks got out, Casey Carty got out, and um, Nicholas Poor and, and uh, Brooks, you know, Poor and was trying to cut a ball that was probably too close for him to cut, and he maybe played that shot a little bit too late, but maybe he wasn't as focused as before, seeing that, you know, it was right after the, maybe the second delivery, after the rain interval, so... Um, you know, the captain wasn't able to carry us across the line as we would have wanted, but definitely a uh, big congratulations going out to the captain and his team for uh, securing the victory. So the idea is to continue to build on this. Hopefully we can pick up uh, the victory in the next game of viewers and subscribers and take it from there. But uh, in the field, you know, it wasn't too bad. We, 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 we gave away one and two little things, as I said. A catch, I can remember a catch going down off Alzari's bowling pretty early in the innings. I think it went between um, the wicket keeper Shea Hope and uh, Jason Holder. You know, that, that wasn't taken. But um, generally speaking, it was a good display from the guys. And we have to give kudos where or give credit where credit is due. Because at the end of the day, New Zealand, they definitely have some good players on their books and as a result of that you know if we go out there and beat them we need to give the players um some some props so the idea is to be consistent i know we're going to have some people that jump up now and say yeah we're still this winning you see they can you see they can win i told you they would win and all of that this is the thing they are all they are we have talented players there so it is expected that they are going to win games what we need is the consistency so losing losing 15 games on the track and winning one game doesn't mean you are you are there or you have arrived just mean that it is the same in consistency so the idea thing now is to transition from this victory into our next victory friday and 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 then we see where we go from there after we would have secured the series but that is just a quick update in the night my viewers and subscribers game finished late so we're just doing a late update and then probably tomorrow you know or so we can um Take another look at it. Zane, big up on yourself, my peeps.